Heat pumps. Is now the perfect time to consider getting one? It might sound like a strange question to ask in the middle of summer, but I have a few compelling reasons why now might indeed be the ideal time. Let's get into it. It's not hard to find instances of horror stories from early adopters of heat pumps. They typically centre around complaints of system failures such as shutdowns or inability to warm the property sufficiently, undesirable loud noises or higher than expected energy consumption. It doesn't take long for the mainstream media to latch onto these stories and have us all believe heat pumps are riddled with all of these issues. Skill Builder's series of John's Nightmare Heat Pump covers the issues he had. He then brings in Heat Geek's Adam Chapman and his team to assess and redo the whole thing, as frankly his setup was poorly designed. Another popular video follows the story of Jeff, who is an older gentleman who initially spent large quantities of cash and ended up with a highly defective system, once again needing a major overhaul. My point here is installers now, in 2025, are far more knowledgeable than they were three to five years ago. While we should take these case studies as learnings of how not to do things, they don't represent the expected system performance and reliability you would get in 2025. The truth is, heat pump installations need to follow a different set of principles to gas central heating. Heat pumps benefit from maximising heat transfer properties, so larger pipework and large radiators are an advantage, but matching system output to the room and to the property as a whole is an absolute must. Weather compensation curves to modulate the flow temperature is also key to ensuring the right amount of heat is available when needed and the system runs efficiently. And now, more than ever before, heat pumps are being seen by many as the future, which means more engineers are now wanting to be trained in heat pumps to a much higher standard than what they ever would have been three to five years ago. What this means for the consumer is that there's more choice than ever before. More and more installers are taking up heat pumps. Most of the energy companies, for example, now offer heat pumps. British Gas, EDF, E.ON, and of course Octopus, along with others, all now offer heat pumps. But it doesn't end there. There are specialists such as HeatGeek who offer guaranteed system efficiency as part of their agreement. There are third-party installers like Boxed which offer another alternative. There are manufacturers now who install their own systems. And there are local installers too. So now in 2025, there's more choice than ever before. Remember earlier when I mentioned how crucial it was to have the correct system size for your property? More good news! Gone are the days when you are presented with a choice of large or small. There are more sizes and more brands to choose from than ever before, meaning it will be easy to find the perfect size along with a couple of alternatives which should suit your property just fine. In the UK we have an incentive called the Boiler Upgrade Scheme. It's widely available across England and Wales, but it does exclude Scotland and Ireland where these regions have their own equivalents. It was introduced in May 2022 for the purpose of helping homeowners upgrade to low carbon heating solutions. It offers a whopping 7,500 off an air-to-water heat pump. Sadly, that doesn't include air-to-air -air systems, which are typically cheaper, but it does offer a sizable discount, which is a strong enticement for purchasing green tech where price is a major barrier to entry. The scheme is set to run until December 27, and currently there are no plans announced beyond then. Here is a graph directly from the Heat Pump Deployment Quarterly Statistics, which is reported by the Department for Energy Security and Net Zero. And you'll see that throughout uh, 2023, the price rose quite significantly to an average of over 13,500. Uh, but as we entered 2024, things began to drop. And now uh, in Q1 of 2025, that average price has now dropped to around about 12,000, which means that the uh, 7,500 boiler upgrade scheme um, is in most cases equivalent of a 60% or more discount. But it is worth noting that prices do vary massively from property to property. Obviously the heat loss of your property um, is, is a key uh, factor here, but the size of the unit that you need also uh, has a major impact on the price. This graph shows the quantity of heat pump installations via government incentives, and you'll notice that year on year it's risen quite significantly, uh, and most quarters do see a um, notable uptick. Not every single install has been, uh, as a result of the boiler upgrade scheme, there have been other schemes in place um, which 
some of them more regional, some of them uh, business ones and so on. But uh, it's fair to say that the boiler upgrade scheme has seen uh, the majority and that stable uptick uh, suggests that the scheme has been a success thus far. But why now? Why summer? Most people won't be considering heating when baking in their 28 degree bedroom or out enjoying the sunshine eating an ice cream. It's just not where people's heads are at. Because of this, there are some decent discounts to be had. I lost track of the amount of installers offering a £500 summer discount. Even Octopus are offering a 15% off post-grant until the end of August. And of course, I have a referral code to reduce that by a further £100. I personally really recommend them, and they did a great job installing my Cozy 6. Also, consider the install process. Chances are you have no heating for a few days. In the summer, this is a minimal consequence, because in most cases, the house should retain plenty of heat. In my case, Octopus gave me a couple of basic fan heaters should I need them. But when it's minus two outside, it's not such a great feeling to have no central heating, even if it is just for a few days. Finally, should the worst happen, you have plenty of time to test the system and get any repairs should you need them, before that harsh winter sets in. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please press that like button to help promote my video to others who might also enjoy it. Also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to follow my renewable energy story. Later on in the summer, I'll provide an update on my heat pumps running costs where hot water is concerned. I'm tracking the strangest statistic which you might not believe. More on that in the future though. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.